this is Franklin McMahon from Franklin McMahon Studio. We do web development, video production, photography, graphic design, marketing, all that crazy fun stuff. So our website's right on the screen. So here's the question we have today. Vicky actually wants to know, how do you send large files? How do you send files to clients? How do you get, you know, email sometimes can't take a very, very large file or series of files. Here's a couple suggestions. These are services that I use. I think they're pretty good. So, you know, you might want to give them a try. Uh, the first one is yousendit.com. Now, this service is good if you want to send stuff through the actual mail, the email. So if you have a large file, you want to, you know, could be half a gigabyte or something, you send it will do a good job. It's pretty free. There is some add-ons that cost money, but if you want to use the basic service, you can create an account and send stuff pretty easily. Now, the other option I would suggest is Dropbox, dropbox.com. I actually have a review of it on my website at Franklin McMahon. And uh, this is great. Again, it's free. If you want to pay for extra features, you can do that. But the basic account is free. You sign up and you can sync files between computers. You can sync it between your uh, phone and your laptop and your desktop. Or if you have other people, clients and friends, they can get Dropbox and you can move it to other people's Dropbox folder. It syncs pretty quickly. It doesn't sync very fast, but it does move large files quickly over the uh, cloud, <laughs> over the internet. So it uh, it works pretty good. And again, you can't beat the price. So try those out, dropbox.com and yousendit.com. Those are two ways to move really large files in a pretty uh, resourceful way. So give it a try. Anyway, thanks for the question. Keep the questions coming. The email is right on the screen there. My name is Franklin McMahon, and we'll talk to you soon. Mm-hmm.